Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I thought we would tackle the kitchen floor. If you've been here for a while you will have seen I've done a few makeovers on this kitchen over the years. The first one was that I painted the kitchen cupboards. I'll link that video down below. So I painted them this gray color. Then I moved on and painted the kitchen tiles. I'll also link that video down below and also built in some under cabinet storage here, which I upcycled some crates for and also some old CD racks to make some mug storage. But today I thought we would have a go at tackling this floor. So the kitchen and the floor is over 10 years old and I spied these in home bargains. So these are stick is peel and stick vinyl floor tiles. So you get five in a pack, they're self-adhesive, the neutral geometric, in case you're interested. And they had a few different designs in store and they're $1.99 a pack and you get five per pack and the tile size is 305 by 305 centimeters. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, do click subscribe. I post new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this part, is it part three, I guess, of the kitchen makeover, then do give this one a thumbs up. Right then, I haven't got a coffee for a quick sip of the coffee, so we'll just have to get straight into it. So I've gathered a few bits that I thought would be handy. I've got a couple of craft knives, some scissors. I've also got a Sharpie for marking the tiles with. I've got a tape measure in case I need that, and also a couple of rulers or protractors. These are the only ones I could find. It is so typical, isn't it, when you go to do a job like this and all the normal rulers are nowhere to be seen. The house is currently in chaos. I did find this board, which was the back of a picture frame that I'm going to use to do the cutting on. So this is the current floor and I think this might be an old version of the luxury vinyl floor tiles that you get because it seems to be stuck down in panels and you can sort of see that some of them have moved a tiny bit. I gave it a good mop last night just using some bleach, so hopefully we'll be good to go. And what I will do is just sweep ahead of myself. So I'll keep the dustpan and brush to hand just to go over any areas just to make sure they're free of any dust before we start sticking. And I've just got the instructions out, which are quite thorough, which is giving me some reassurance that these hopefully will be a good product. So we'll start by finding the center and then we will work from there. The only thing is I'm not quite sure what the center is because is it like from between the two cupboards or is it from the wall that goes underneath these units? So that's the center here, 110, so 55 would be here. Hmm. And then underneath the tiles they have arrows, so you wanna make sure your arrows are all pointing in the right direction. So I'm gonna make sure that the arrows are pointing towards the window and that way they will all match up neatly. He says. And then I'm also going to measure the length of the room. Okay, so I think I have found the middle. What I'm gonna do is line up the top. I'm gonna to cheat it across a little bit. I'm not too worried about centralizing it, just so that I can use these straight lines here on these tiles as a guide. Here it goes. <laughs> so we'll peel off the back. Remember to make sure that you check which way your arrows are facing. And we'll start off just with this side. And I'm going to line this up really carefully before I commit. That's perfect. And it says that this stuff is incredibly slippy once you've peeled it off. Yeah, they're right. We dispose of that straight away to avoid me ending up my face in the oven. Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute. I'm hot on slow dancing with you. One, two, three, keep it going, last forever. All blacked out, then flying with you. I don't care that my mind's gone. The section is down. So, as you can see, I'm just focusing on this central part, and then we'll work into all the edges once all the main bulk of the floor is covered. My heart will burst into flames. Now, I don't care about the heart. Okay, we are making some progress. I've pretty much laid out all the full tiles that I can. I think we can squeeze in a couple more tiles without cutting under here. Some bits I just need to keep pressing down because they're lifting a little bit, which is slightly concerning. 
I hope that's not going to be the case. Maybe it needs some stronger adhesive. Any that are lifting a little bit, I think I'm going to put some heavy bits on just to make sure that they get a chance to stick. Tell you what, I am sweating doing this. It's actually quite labour intensive, bizarrely, but satisfying at the same time. Starting to do some fiddly bits now. So this tile doesn't quite fit here where the kitchen cabinet is. So we have a tiny bit of excess. I'm just gonna mark what that line is. And then we also need to measure how deep that's going to go. So if I line it up here now, yeah, it's just gonna take it to here. I'm going to draw a line between the two. Actually, is just the border line on this, which makes it slightly easier. So we can see that should be the piece that we cut out. If you wanted to be extra careful, you could measure this piece here as well. That goes to 40 there, let's see. Yep, that's the same, so we know we're correct. And very carefully, using the blade, I'm going to cut the tile. So, here is the moment of truth. With the remaining piece, I'm going to pop this to one side for the left-hand side of the kitchen because it is this piece that we will be able to use on the other side. I'm going out with you tonight. Are you close to here? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling down. I don't know why. I know it's so surreal. Okay, I think I am done, but it wouldn't be a room makeover with a few new bits and I picked up recently a few flowers from Ikea. These were actually in the sale for £3 per bunch for these beautiful summer flowers. So I picked up two of these. I got this little vase that was £1.50 and I just thought that would be perfect to pop these into. And I've also got... This plant that was reduced to, I think, one pound. This is really nice kind of fine fern. And then I also got some of these miniature potted plants and these were down to one pound as well. I think these were five pounds previously. So I've got a couple of those to decorate with and then I'll show you the finished floor. Oh dear. So this just happened and it was going so well. Okay, I think I am done. So I will leave you with some shots of the finished floor and the new look of the kitchen. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. I am shattered. <laughs> it probably took me about four hours in total, which isn't bad going, and I used 10 packets. So we are talking for this makeover, 20 pounds. So let me know if you think it was worth it. And if you're new here, do click subscribe for new videos every single week, and I will keep you posted in future vlogs as to how these tiles hold up. And I'll also keep you posted over on my home Instagram account, which is Mr. Carrington Home, where I share all of my interior inspiration, any room makeovers and any bargains that I spy in the shop. So head over there and give me a little follow if you would like to as well. And thanks so much for watching. I will leave you with the kitchen and I will see you very soon. Bye. Every change has a reason.